attacks that mobilize them. Like how Olimar is able to... He can sort of pseudo-crawl with his down tilt. Yeah. I like moves like that. I like when uh, characters have that, you know, in their disposal. And Shine. <laughs> Shine is fun. He's fun to watch because he's got so many different characters. Uh, I know that he plays Donkey Kong, and he has a Lucas, and I miss Lucas. I think Lucas is highly unexplored, um, even though his range is kind of lacking. He's got really good combos, really yeah. good combos, really good setups, and I think he's just a generally hard character to play, and that's probably why you don't see him around that much. Fair enough, yeah. You know? Um, hmm. I don't know, because a lot of people are sort of on the fence about that. Like, I remember before, people were thinking that he was really good, and a lot of people thought he was like, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, in, in four, I, know, I I put him a little up there. He, he there's definite definite matchups that he did really well in, um, and then he had like the down throw up air stuff. So yeah, uh, he had a lot of stuff. In this game, he doesn't really have like a lot of throw things specifically, yeah. like not throw combos. But he still got like the Zair strength, like the Zair comboing thing. Down and PK tilt. freeze is good. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's got some stuff. Yeah. Uh, I really wanted my voice to be heard. I wanted to see some Lucas, but that's okay. We got the Donkey Kong. Okay, we got the respect for fist bump. I was like, yeah, Now, Donkey Kong and Madden. What do you think about this one? Well, see, it depends on what stage we go to, because Donkey Kong still has access to Ding Dong. Yeah. Um, and it works really well in certain stages. Town City, not so much one of them, because <laughs> the ceiling's really, really high, but... Essentially, you can get the grab, jump up onto a platform, and then execute the ding dong, and that little platform boost will help you kill it around like you know 80 or so. Oh yeah, it becomes real. And another thing is that like the platforms are constantly moving on this stage, so they're not always going to be there for you. Nice up B though. Yeah, very high recovery here. Kong Kong again also has really good burst options as well. Yeah. Um, that dash attack is really good. The uh, back air is really really quick. I think that's one of the strongest back airs because like you're still dying to it at the sour spot. It comes out really quickly. It's not really a good out of shield option because it's it's kind of hard to hit little characters like that. But when it comes to edge guarding time, oh boy, you better yes. watch out. Yeah, that's one thing. Um, Donkey Kong is. I feel like Donkey Kong was better in Smash Four, but um, I still think he's a solid character in this game. He is solid. Uh, it was just a matter of consistency because you knew you were gonna get Ding Dong no matter where you were. Oh, that barely killed. He teleported in place. Yeah, man. This is winner's quarters, and we are going to be at a three here. Yep. All right. Look at this. Oh, uh, trying to land with the upgrade. You know, on a bigger character, that could work. I, you know, again, I really like how Syro just ends off his combos with the Nair there, just gets the damage. Oh, the spot dodge on the max range jab there. <laughs> yeah, and I agree with you, too. Uh, uh, him using his Nair the way that he does, like, you can really mix it up. It's like, it's really DI dependent. It's like, you are either going to get hit by the up air or the uh, up B, or if you decide to DI in, I'm just going to go ahead and, or DI out, I'm just going to Nair you and kill you up the side. <laughs> and the most anticlimactic uh, kill animation is when Donkey Kong just cargoes you, just slowly goes off the edge, and just like, eh, yeah. you did. Yeah. Don't get oh. grabbed by Donkey Kong by the edge, fellas. Ever. Okay. Sort of, a, and I like how um, how Shine is sort of like fainting, like whether or not he's going to do a dash attack. <laughs> right. He can just sort of go in and shield and maybe grab you if you decide to pull out an option. Mm -hmm. Cyro using that dimensional cape. Oof, the zoom in. That one hurt. Oh, yeah. 65%. That's really demoralizing, too. Makes you think. Okay. Oh, tried to get the side beat. That does break shields as well. Oh, uh, the dimensional cape can break you. Or, oh, oh, oh Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Yeah, yeah, that really does help. Man, up. he got the slap confirm, man. Slapped him up right into that up smash. Oh, what's the punish here? Oh, okay. that was an interesting little call. Yeah, I mean, 18 damage just for the dare. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I don't even know if that was a full hop or not. That's, that just hurts, man. Yeah, uh. oh, man, another... That's two for two right now on the dimensional cape kill. Cyro is just, he loves that move. Yeah, I mean, it's it can be good if you're uh, using it in, uh, intelligently. Oh, yeah. And it's pretty much a mix-up, too. Yep. Because if they shield and you don't go for the slash, by the time they drop shield, like, you you're, you're, you got to waste our free. Or you're getting grabbed or something bad is happening. Right. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> just just so destroyed. range on that move. Shine going to take it over Cyro, that game number one, with the Donkey Kong. Now, I think... 
I'm not sure. I think that move can two frame as well. I think it kind of oh, goes like it hits low enough. Yeah, it hits low enough. Uh, I know that uh, King Dedede's hammer works in the same fashion. Where it just, wow. Yeah, it's got the super armor. I think they're very similar moves, except you know without the uh, the zoom in. I don't think the hammer has that, but I could be wrong about that. Too. I think if you charge it enough, it does. It has Probably. the zoom in. Probably. Kind of like DK's, where if it's charged enough, it'll get that zoom in. Man, it, it's so funny how like just little visuals like that sort of mess with your head. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, I got hit by that. I He's agree with this counter pick from Cyro. Falco messes heavies up. And oh, yeah. Cyro was a Falco main in Smash 4. This seems to be like a right at home type of pick for a Meta Knight player, if you ask me. Oh. And the reflector, too. I like that. It's a shame that you can't uh, B reverse Falco's reflector. That would be so cool. Oh, you can't? Uh, to my knowledge, no. I don't think you can uh, B reverse I'm trying, it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess you can. Oh. I would love if you could. Oh, my God. Getting two of them. Yeah, it's a good spacing tool, I suppose. Uh, it's kind of got the startup, but it's got a nice little head box that has nothing to do with Falco's body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that disjoint. And it w could reflect any of Donkey Kong's projectiles. Oh, yeah, all of them. All of them. <laughs> All zero of them. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Boy. Yeah, that's that's one of the, the Uppies' biggest issues. Is it really going to... No, that's not going to go. Unless we get the back air. Duh, yeah. yeah. Like, like, taking you out. You yourself yeah. as Falco, that's one of the problems with um, the Uppie from Donkey Kong. He's so exposed on his head. Oh, yeah. That recovery got messed up. Wow. That nair into up tilt just was a thing I witnessed. That is crazy. <laughs> Heavies. Yeah, you got to love them until you're getting juggled. I, I, I would like to see, uh, I mean, I know that sometimes not true, but like up tilt in a dare is really nice because you can usually kind of continue the combo instead of up tilt nair, but up tilt nair is probably guaranteed. So that's why Cyrus was just going for the guaranteed damage. I can see that. I, ooh, yeah, that back air is so powerful. Yeah, and it was center stage, so barely living, but usually that stuff is tremendously powerful in Crystal early. We got a mash. Oh, okay. It can be hard to mash out of that move, though, to be fair. Yeah. You know, it's just like, sometimes you kind of have to guess. It's like, is he going to try to stage fight me with the, the back throw? You never yeah. know. Yes. Yeah, oh, but you know, you're. I think you're right about this uh, this counter pick. It's not looking too bad for Falco. Ooh, almost got hit by that ding dong, though. Yeah. Try to get the platform ding dong. Now he's just going to set up off stage situation here. Going to get it uh, yeah. again, once again. Uh, I mean, it, it sucks too because Shine is positioning himself where he can cover the side B as well. So it, it, I don't think it's necessarily bad that Tyro's going for the up B, but. Sometimes you want to test like execution on the other recoveries, but nonetheless, yeah, especially Shine considering just, the history of this match. Yeah, Shine definitely <laughs> showing that he is uh, very capable of edge guarding Falco <laughs> as well. Both these guys edge guarding and comboing each other very, very nicely. The side B. Yeah. Oh, oh wait a minute, Shine got the offstage situation. Tries to get the down air. Oh, is he gonna do it again? Okay, this time we're seeing. Oh my goodness. I mean, he changed it up, but. Yeah. There is, is, it's just when when you sink that low with the down throw and if she is able to grab the ledge before you can go into a special option, he can react.